Basically, this project goes from the interstate to Route W, and it's uh, almost two miles in length. And so, from point A to point B, we had to go and cut down a lot of hills and fill in a lot of valleys, so there was a lot of dirt work to be done prior to the um, concrete and asphalt work. Um, what happened was, um, before winter hit, um, we had gotten all of the um, dirt work completed, but what happened was we left all of the dirt exposed throughout the winter months. And so what happens then, you have a lot of freezing and thawing, expanding and contracting of your um, soils. And so we have to, the contractor then has to come back through and rework the dirt to stabilize it in order to put the aggregate on. And then once the aggregate gets put on and is stabilized, then we can do the, um, the concrete and the asphalt on top. Um, the problems with the rains in the spring then is that they just, multiplied the problems. Um, we kept having a rain event, say once a week, and then our soils became soggy, and then we couldn't get the equipment out here to stabilize the soils. So it was just constantly um, wetting the soils and not able to get the proper equipment out here and, and not being able to complete the project on time. Um, our expectations are mid to late September. Um, the reason for that, after today, the two-lane section of this project will be completed, and then we'll have to go back 